Hey, what's up guys? Sandy here. Another workout to add to the library. All right. I like these short little bursts, eight to 10 minutes. And this is another one, eight different movements, full body. We're going to hit everything a little bit. And we're just going to follow along with the same protocol I've been using. We're going to go every minute on the minute, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. And we're gonna do that for eight minutes. You can do this one time, follow through with me, just do it once, or can okay, start it over when we get done, do it again. It's up to you. Personally, I would recommend doing it twice, but not back to back. You can do it once early and then midday or something, take a break and do it again. Keeps the body moving, keeps the habit built, keeps building movement patterns, good movement patterns. So general warm up. I'm not going to show you that part. I may film a video with just doing a little warm up, but warm your body up, whatever you need to do. Walk around the house, um, doesn't matter. Or the warm up we use with TPF, you know, just basic hinge pattern, squats, press, rotation, all that. I'm just going to jump right in here. I'm going to set the timer up. Plug it up first, probably help. All right. So, Again, 30 seconds, and we'll get the timer started. I'm just gonna talk you through all the movements. The first one we're gonna do is a kettlebell march or a dumbbell, whatever you have. So grab a weight, and you're gonna hold it up at your chest. So go ahead and get your weight. All right, ready. And begin. So what you're gonna do is hold it up at your chest. Now we're gonna march. This looks simple. This is a lot harder once you get moving. Keep that kettlebell up high, okay? Also, don't hunch as you march. You're not hunching here. You want to keep that posture up tall. Standing tall, pulling the knees up. Let me turn here so I can see the screen, see the timer. Keep those knees up and rest. Okay, from there, now we're going to go directly into mountain climbers. Hands on the ground. You're going to drive those knees in, keep the back flat. The goal of these mountain climbers is we're going to go fast. As fast as you are capable of going without your butt shooting up in the air. All right? So I'm hoping I can still talk to explain the next one after this. All right. Five seconds. I don't know how helpful see the timer either. And begin. Driving those knees. Like I said, we're moving quick here. Moving quick. It's just 30 seconds. Keep your shoulders right over your hands, let your knees cross the hip joint. Boom, we're flying here. Legs are gonna be burning, belly gonna be burning, shoulders might be too. Keep it up, keep it up, and rest. Holy crap. Now, kettlebell, tricep extension is gonna be our next move. You're gonna hold a kettlebell, or you can use a dumbbell, doesn't matter, whatever you got. You're gonna hold it, Bring it up over your head. Lower it behind and extend. Lower and extend. So again, if you have a dumbbell, kettlebell's too heavy, use dumbbells. All this stuff can be modified. Or if you don't have anything, just use a band or something. It's anything you got. And begin. Up overhead and extend. Boom. Keep your abdominals tight here. Really brace. Squeeze your glutes. So you're not leaning forward here. So brace, brace your body. Your feet grabbing to the ground. Squeeze the handle in that kettlebell. Hold that kettlebell <clears throat> tight. And boom, rest. 30 seconds. When you're doing those, should have showed this part. Start with the kettlebell upside down, okay? It's just easier to position for your wrist. Now, push-ups. Does not matter how you do these. You can do them on your toes, on your knees, on a bar, on the couch, wherever. Feet elevated, just do them for 30 seconds. All right, I'm just going to go to the ground and begin. Whatever you do, form. Make sure you're getting low enough. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze. That's the problem I usually see, is not getting low enough. Squeeze on the way down. 
Focus on your form. We're almost there. Brace your butt. Squeeze your butt too. Squeeze your butt. Boom. That's 30 seconds. All right. Take a 30 seconds rest. Now we're moving into reverse lunge. So we're going to alternate legs each time for 30 seconds. If you don't have, if you can't do your reverse lunge, it's okay to stagger your stance and squat like so, all right? If you can't do the reverse part. And hold the kettlebell up high, begin. Step back, step back, boom. Nice and easy. Focus on your breathing, guys. Good breathing here. Remember, we're only going 30 seconds. Big breath in, exhale. Final five. Awesome. Take 30 seconds. Now, pulse squats is what we're going to do. Pulse squat. You're not going to come all, go all the way down and go all the way up. You're going to keep it right in here. It's going to hit those quads hard. Oh, man. All right. 10 seconds. Use your bail, use a dumbbell, or use a nothing, whatever you feel like is going to be best for you. Begin. Don't worry about counting. Just get them. Just knock them out. It's going to burn. It is going to burn. That's okay. Do your best. Breathe. 10 seconds, guys. We're almost there. Keep going. Keep going. You're strong. I know it. Boom. And rest. Now we're going to a tall plank, which is the top of a push-up, to a front raise, raising your arm up in front. If you can't do that, you can touch the shoulder or just hold the tall plank. They both work. And we're going for 30 seconds, guys. All right. Three, two, and begin. Boom, boom. The wider your stance with your feet, the easier, the more narrow, the harder this becomes. So find your spot. Bring them out in front. We got about 10 seconds left here. So close, guys. So close. And rest. One more. Last one. We're going to do a flutter kick. 30 seconds. Hands under your butt, feet just off the ground, and we're going to move them quick. We are going to move them quick. And this is the latest. This is it. This is our eight minutes. Okay, flat on your back. Don't fall asleep. Three, two, begin. Again, we're just going fast. Keep the low back pushed into the ground. We're just gonna move quick, move quick. Let them burn up, don't stop. Don't let them touch the ground. Whew. Don't let them touch the ground. Almost guys, keep it going. 10 more seconds. 10 seconds. Easy work. Easy work. Two and rest. And you're done. You made it. You can use this as a short little burst to break up the midday monotony. You can use this as a short burst to get you started in the morning. Or like I said, you could double, triple this up and make it a full workout. It is completely up to you, but I wanna show you that you can take eight minutes and feel good. Get your body going, heart rate up. Get warm up the body, feel good. Feel good and ready to go. You don't have to take a full 
30, 45 minutes, hour. So if you have questions, feel free to message me and I hope that was helpful.